today I have a Whirlpool dishwasher and I'm going to show you how it actually cleans. As you can see right there, that is where the soap is added. And underneath that door that I just pulled up is where the rinse aid is located. Now the rinse aid is really needed in order to clean your dishes properly to where they won't have spots on them at the end. Right here is the main washer at the bottom. This is where the spray of water comes up and sprays and cleans your dishes. As you can see, it spins around woo, like that. Now, the point of having this spin around is that it gets all of the dishes evenly and clean. Now, if you have something like chopsticks or something that sticks out of the bottom rack, you may watch out because that could stop the spinning. There's also one located just beneath the upper rack as you can see it spins as well it's connected to a hose that goes through the back of the dishwasher and at the top there's also another spinning sprayer let me get some light there so you can see it now this also sprays but it comes from the top bringing a stream of water from the top down effectively cleaning your dishes at all angles look at that so I'm just going to get shut this and that is how it cleans. Now let's talk about the rinse aid next. All right. Now this is finish jet dry rinse aid. This is a rinse aid that can be used in the Whirlpool dishwasher. As you can see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the door and I'm going to actually put some in. Now when I do it, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I lift the door and right there is where i'm going to try to pour it so i'm gonna put my finger over the top so i can do this without spilling it everywhere and look what i actually spilled it everywhere does it always work usually doesn't work i usually spill it all over the place but i fill it up until the fill line and then i put away the rinse aid and rinse my hands later uh, but I'm going to check and I'm going to try to control how much is dispensed. You can go from anywhere from one to four. Four being the most being dispensed when you wash, will, which will effectively help rinse your dishes and well, as well as dry them evenly when you're done. But whatever you select, select it and then shut it and then put your washer pod inside the compartment and you're ready to wash dishes, all right? Now, let's talk about something that's also really crucial with this washer, dishwasher, is canceling the setting mode, okay? So, say for instance, I go ahead and select heavy wash, but I don't really want to do a heavy wash, all right? So, if I don't really want to do a heavy wash, I can just go ahead and open it up, and I'm gonna have to cancel this, but as you can see, I can try to press buttons and nothing will actually work. So I have to cancel it. And you do that by going to the start button and holding it down for three seconds. Now let's do that. Two, one. All right, it canceled, but actually it's for drain mode. If I shut it, it will drain, but if there's no water in it, I don't need to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the start button again and hold it for three seconds. Now watch what happens. It turns off the dishwasher. Now I can select the correct setting, which is normal, and you know, change the Santa rinse and high temperature and press start, and I'm ready to wash dishes. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.